<laughs> Here we are again. It's Saturday morning and I'm off to an estate sale and another estate sale and possibly some garage sales. So I have to drive not too far, but drive a little bit, hop on the freeway and go to this estate sale that's about 15 minutes away. This estate sale claims that they have CDs, uh, we'll see. Uh, if you're not familiar with the website, uh, estatesales.net, I recommend checking it out. It uh, lists estate sales in your area, you can look it up by zip code, and I'm not sure if they have an app, but uh, their website works really well. You can look up the local estate sales that they have nearby, and then it'll list them based on distance or date, etc. You can sort them that way. Lately, I found a few good estate sales, uh, and we're sort of hitting that time now where there's going to be a lot more of that stuff going on. So it's worth checking out. It's a you know, in addition to, I use a garage sale finder app. Um, and of course, there's always Craigslist, but uh, the estate sale website, estatesales.net, seems to have some good stuff, and it's worth it. They also they also post, uh, or people can post photos. So even if they say, oh, books, CDs, video games, whatever, uh, frequently they'll have a lot of photos, so you can take a look at the photos and find out ahead of time. If it looks like it's worth your time, because often they'll say books, and then they'll all be really old or really messed up, or not the kind of books that um, then will be worth going to see. Now, you know, if it's nearby, you know, you can go check it out. But if it's some, if it's you know, 20 miles away or 30 miles away, you might not want to drive that far to find out that all the books are from 1950 and not in good condition or not worth selling on Amazon, etc. Keep that in mind as well. You don't want to waste time. Kind of plan it out strategically. Oh well, you know, if, if there's photos, great, look at them. If not, then you know, what are you going to do? You can just go and, and give it a shot. Uh, the garage sale finder that I use, the app, frequently there's photos on there as well, but a lot of times there's not. Uh, but most of those sales are pretty close by, so it's worth just going and checking it out. So let's see what, what I find. Hopefully something good. bang a -rang. Five CDs and a book for $3. They had the CDs listed as a dollar each, and then I went up there and she's like, oh... Three dollars. So I didn't say anything. Sometimes it's good not to say anything. Now, how much do you want? Oh, I heard those were a dollar. Da, 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 da. Just don't say anything. And now, if they quote you a price that you don't like, then you can say something. But sometimes it's better just to be quiet and see what they say. They had hardly any books, but this one I, I picked off the shelf because it, it was uh, a specific, specific title. Not only fishes, but um, about fish, but exotic aquarium fish. And even though it's really old, I felt, well, you know, give it a shot, see what it's going for. Turns out, uh, it's the 19th edition, so this is an old one. Uh, and because of that, I thought, oh, maybe it's not worth anything, but I'll just take a look. And uh, it turns out that it's it's got, like, six FBA offers. Uh, the rank is about just under 800,000. And there's 12 reviews, right, with good ratings. So this thing is, is actually selling. And the cheapest FBA is 1495 and then it jumps up to about 20 bucks, and then it jumps way up to 45, but uh, I figure for, I mean, for 50 cents or, or whatever I paid, you know, three bucks for six items, um, 50 cents, yeah. Why not, right? Listed for 15 bucks. I see, that's a deal. Um, it's acceptable condition, but that's all right. And the CDs were pretty good. Uh, nothing, nothing spectacular, but all, you know, about 10 bucks and up. So that was good. So, six items so far, let's go to the next one, see what we can get. books dollar each three dollars so far I've spent six dollars on nine items not bad nothing here is spectacular but a couple good rank books gonna go for at least they're all going for at least 11 bucks and up so that's decent um, 
they had a little more book, a few more books there in the back, in the backyard and some bookshelves. Um, who do you think mostly goes to estate sales, resellers, or people just looking to buy stuff for personal use? Because it seems to me like most people that go are looking to just buy stuff for themselves. That there's not too many resellers there. I saw some people buying records, people buying DVDs, you know, random stuff, people buying a lot of furniture. This was a nice house, uh, had some nice furniture, nice stuff. No one looks at the books. I'm like the only one looking at the books. <laughs> it's strange, and the CDs. Uh, it's the same almost everywhere I go. No one looks at books, no one looks at CDs. People, More people look at CDs than books, but books are largely left. That's what's so great about them is that people just don't want them. They don't go to a state sale to look for books. So I wonder though, you know, I think mostly people that go to these are just looking just looking to, to buy some furniture for themselves or knickknacks or their hoarders or who knows what um, but i find estate sales are the best even better than garage sales so nine items so far i'm going to go to one more at least and let's see what happens you gotta invest in, in the books that you buy. Uh, I don't like to spend very much money on books, but you know, I, I went all the way to do the garage sale. I just spent $15 on a book that there are very few copies of it, 14 used copies. And, uh, there's one FBA that's 45, but it's in good condition. And this one is basically, it's basically like new, except they'll list it very good. Uh, it's got the Mylar, the, the plastic cover on the, over the dust jacket, and it's pretty, pretty much pristine, like new, um, and uh, there's not very many copies. So there's a couple of MF copies, very good copies for $40, but it's signed by the author, and it is a big hardcover, uh, one of those oversized ones about, it's called Portraits from the Deep. Portraits from the Deep by Guy Harvey. So, photography. In the ocean, I assume. Um, and all the, you know, the copies are going for good money. Just the fact that it was in great shape. The signature may or may not matter to somebody, uh, but it's, you know, it's potentially uh, going to be val more valuable to someone because it has a signature, although it is inscribed to the previous owner. Um, but even if the signature doesn't bring more for it, just that it's in great shape and there's only one FBA offer, um, so I can list it. I mean, I, I might just list it at 100 bucks, 99.95, sit on it, see if it sells. If it doesn't, I can always drop it slowly by 10 bucks or so. Uh, even if I sold it for 69.95 or something like that, uh, I'd still make good money. I usually don't spend that kind of money on a book, but I felt like it was good, a good buy that it would definitely sell at some point, and I would. Um, I'm probably going to at least quadruple my money, so I'll probably, you know, I want to make at least. I like to make at least fifty dollars off of it uh, after considering, you know, the fifteen bucks. So. Um, We'll see, you know, even if I make 40. It's, it's uh, it, you know, sometimes you just, you, you spend a little bit more money on books and that was a nice book and uh, I could have skipped it, but I did it anyway. And the rank is 1.8 million, so it's gonna be a slow seller, but that's okay, even if it takes a year, it's, uh, it's gonna do well. But the other book that I got there is even better. It's uh, this one, Aloha Magnum. So it's a memoir from, uh, one of the actors on Magnum PI. Now that one I got for 25 cents, and I kid you not, it's got multiple FBA offers, I think five or six, and the lowest FBA offer is $47. $47. Now, it jumps from 47 all the way up to 70 something. So, and the rank is in the 300, like 380,000. It's got many reviews, so it's selling steadily. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the 70 to $80 range. Um, 
that was the other th reason why I, I bought the, the $15 book is because also they were selling it for 20 and I asked if they would take 10 and she offered 15 for less than they were asking, which was good. Um, but the reason, you know, another reason that, that made me feel more comfortable about that, about spending the $15 is because I got this bu other book for a quarter and uh, you know it's gonna go for as much, uh, or just about as much anyway as, as the $15 book. So combined, that's gonna be quite a nice haul, a uh, nice profit. I mean, that book, that memoir, clearly there's not that many copies out there for it to be going for that much. I think the MF, the lowest MF is like 35 or 40 bucks. So that one's gonna go for a nice, nice profit. It's in good condition. Uh, it doesn't have any highlighting or writing in it, but there's a few bumps to the, to the corners, that type of thing. Uh, but it's almost in very good condition, but I'll probably list it for good. So overall, it was, uh, Good haul, here it is. It's already been sold, FBA. You can see on the back. For a lot of money. So, that one's gonna do really well. That one surprised me, because I was looking through all of the paperbacks that they had lined up for 25 cents, and I found one, uh, one book, and then, you know, it goes for, for decent money, and then I found that one, and I was just like, wow. That was a shock. But, um, you know, it happens. People don't buy books, and, and there it is, sitting there. Ready to be plucked. This is overall good. Uh, this is my haul. You can kind of see. I got nothing. I got 13 books total and spent, let's see, I spent 7, uh, 22, about $22 on 13 books. Of course, 15 on one. We'll spread out. It's not too bad. I think that's all the sourcing for today. Once again, though, uh, to another topic is my sourcing is is outpacing my listing uh, so I have not been listing nearly as much I am almost through all the CDs and, and testing them uh, from the big lot that I got um, most of them are fine they work I've only had two where there wasn't a CD and another one where you know, I had 38 songs and one of the last songs wouldn't play from the beginning and it just stuck so I just I can't sell it but I got a case out of it. I have to get on listing, guys. Get on listing. I can't stop sourcing, but I got to get on my listing and do that tonight and tomorrow night uh, and Monday. List all that stuff that I have. Get a shipment out this next week, early next week. Remember, keep booking.